If you're just getting started with our software or you're considering our sketching solutions but find getting started to be a little overwhelming, this video is just for you. When you launch Apex for the first time, it may feel like there are so many things to choose from. All the buttons on the command pad and the toolbars, all the options that are contained within the ribbon menus, and this dialog that's prompting you to do something but you don't know quite what to do just yet can make things feel a little confusing. Well, you've come to the right place because Apex Sketch is really very easy to use. But like any program, it just takes a little practice, but mostly some understanding of the basics. The basic concepts are define the area, establish a point of beginning, and draw the area. We will go into a lot more detail in all of these basic concepts in future videos, but right now we want to get through just the basics of defining an area, establishing a point of beginning, and drawing the area. To define an area, the basic rule of thumb is if you want a calculation for it, you have to define it. This is where you choose the area type, the area level, its calculation type, any auto posting options that you might want to use, you choose the name, and you choose a line style. Once you've done that, you click OK. Clicking OK completes the first basic concept. Now it's all about establishing a point of beginning. Unlike pencil and paper, you don't have to keep in mind where to start. In Apex, it really doesn't matter, especially when you're starting off your sketch. Just pick a place, press Enter, and the cursor will change from a pointer to a crosshair, indicating that it's ready to draw. But you can draw the area with your arrow keys. I'm pressing the down arrow key, left arrow key, up arrow key. Or you can use your mouse. Or you can input a distance like 24 and notice in the lower left hand corner it's showing 24 and a direction right arrow. It draws that line and you can press enter to anchor the line and enter again to anchor the dimension. The next line is 9.8 feet down. Enter one time to anchor the line, one more time to anchor the dimension. Four feet to the left, enter, enter. Seven feet down, enter, enter. Ten feet to the right, enter, enter, five feet down, enter twice, 16 feet to the right, enter twice, 18 feet down, enter twice, 46 feet to the left, enter twice. And when it comes to the last line, press A to auto close, place that last dimension, and now you're presented with the auto posting labels that you have for that area. So I'll take this first floor label and I'll place it right here and click, and I'll take its calculation and place it as well. And that completes the three basic concepts. Now again, in future videos, we will expand upon these basic concepts in much more detail. But what I wanted to show you here was that without clicking a whole lot of things on the interface itself, you can get started and complete your areas in no time. And you'll start to realize that the user interface that you see here is really more a matter of convenience than it is an indication of how difficult the program is.